Hello, welcome to Honey Bees and Orchids. Good morning, good day, good evening, or good night, depending on when you are looking this. Today we will be repotting and dividing the Miltonia Sunset. It's wait, I will first make some close-ups and then let's see what's in the pot. This is the state it is in now. There's a new growth coming here. It bloomed on this bulb. But as you can see, it is really dehydrated. This latest bulb should have bloomed, but didn't. And I guess that is the reason why. There are roots in the pot, but I I think I used a too high grade of bark, so let's put you down again and let's unpot it. First a sip of coffee. As you can see I'm still in my work clothes, so it's early in the morning. So let's get it out of the pot and see what we will do with it. It really was a too big a pot when I potted it. And in here for almost a year or something like that and yeah it isn't smelling that nice so too big a pot too little roots media st staying wet so it's taking out the media as you can see the most of the roots are around the top of the pot. That's a telltale sign. It didn't like the media. I will be putting it in a smaller grade bark, way smaller grade bark. Um, I haven't decided yet if I will um, put some moss with it or not. The great bark is that small, it stays wet for quite some time, so I don't think it's needed, but we will see. It looks like a, a good enough root system to, to support the complete plant, but apparently I think it dried up too soon, too fast. And it looks like it's dividing naturally. So this is three bulbs. A division should always be three bulbs and a new growth. There is the rhizome. It's clean, but it was clean last year too, so I wasn't worried about that. Not really. Man, the roots entangled. So, there it comes, there it comes. This is part one, three bulbs. This is the other part. Logically, the most of the dead roots 
add this part because that's the oldest part of the plant. Take the sheets off so you can see what we are doing. Here's the new growth, so go steady there. And this is a green bract. I'm going to take it off so the roots can get into the media straight away. It hasn't started any new roots yet, but that's fine. It won't wait long. The, the Last time the growths didn't got really big before they started growing roots, so I'm expecting it to do it this time too. Just the same. Loki. So I really should have gotten a better scissors, but okay. The other piece, the biggest piece, get the bracts off, the dead bracts, because they serve no use, they only can get soggy and really tighten the plant up a bit. Let's get this one off too. Is, there, is that a new growth? I think it started as a new growth, but I think it died back. As you can see, it's a climber. So we have to accommodate for that when we pull it up. Which means it will probably go in this way. So the rhizome is at an even angle. But you all also can do is just put this down and have the media in an angle that's uh, a grower's choice oh, oh piece of mistake it's a bit windy out so the cats are quite a bit uh, Jumpy. Maybe the, the noise from the wind sometimes or something like that. Well, well, this is strange. Have you ever seen this? That's bright orange. That's strange. So you immediately, you immediately there is a question. I thought Fusarium would be purple, but this is bright orange. Does anyone know what that means? Is it a virus? Is it a fungal infection? Is it the dreaded Fusarium? Please let me know. So here we go. I've got uh, some cinnamon here to clean up the cut. Let's first put this one. for complete youth with two hands that's much more easier and 
just put it on the cut. It's an uh, it's a drying agent. It dries the it dries the cut, and it is antiseptic too. So that's double. That's a double use. I think it will go in just like that. So the well, it might be even too too small pot, man. It has to come come out here very soon then again because it's really climbing. Should I pull it? Bigger then, like so. I hope not, because I've got no room. I don't want two big parts. Maybe we'll put them back together in a bigger pot. Might be the best choice. Let's see if that would work. Let's get them together. Miss this. Look at that. That's a new growth too. So take off the bracket so the roots can find their way in where they belong, need to be, and where they belong. And cinnamon, that part. That's a strange orange coloration. I would like to take this moment to invite you to, if you got a Miltonia sunset or any plant that I get, cut and you cut too, and you would like to do a care clap, please let me know in the comments or by mail. And we'll see, there's another new growth there too. That's great. That's two new leads on that one. I should have done that before I started putting it up. But there's a new growth and there's a new growth. So that's great. And I really would want them to go into a small pot. We're just gonna do it. So both pieces are coming back in growth, which is, which is great. Great. Ah, oh man, look what I did. That's one new growth. I just bloody snapped it off. Man. Not happy, not happy, not happy. Be more careful, Michael. New growths are prone to breaking, you know that. So 
So why didn't you took that in account? Well, of course it's not gonna stay. Well, luckily there's a new growth on it still. Uh, let me find a stake. Just tied the the top of the bulb where the leaves start. Just tied to the stake there, and it should be staying there. It's still too wobbly to my liking, but now for the other piece. Will I just could I just am I just going to most ideal is to have Three bulbs and a new growth. But I think, or else I've got a problem getting it in the pot. The, the roots on this one, they will not take long to start going. Of course you won't. Of course you won't focus, but look at the size. It's really not taking long till it will start new roots. So I'm taking so I will be taking a bit of a gamble. If it stalls too much, it was all for nothing. Any new growth in here, maybe? No. New growth here, maybe? No. So that's the one. And I'm gonna take off this bulb. And it will fit way better in the pot. It's really orangey inside this part of the plant. It's strange. And here it is normal colored again. Very, very strange. But let's put some cinnamon on it. On it. Take off the old crap. So this is what we are left with, and this will fit inside a pot, or a smaller pot. Let us have a 
decide where to put the stake. I think I will just put it here at the back. Just make sure it's all the way down. Tie it and tie it off again. I'll have to keep an eye on it because if it starts re rehydrating the plant, the bulb will plump up again yes, and I should take care to not leave the ties on too too close because it will cut in, in the bulb when the bulb plumps up. Just tie a simple knot as if you were tying your shoes. So, and those are done. We might need another steak, but we'll see. So let's have a look at them. How they look repotted. Well, here they are, potted up, and this one, this one is a bit higher. I think I should have, but as you can see, the rhizome, that's the end, that's the end of the rhizome, so it's that far down in the pot already. When the roots on this growth will start, I will pile it up with some moss here, so it can get rehydration before getting into the pot. This one I think is close enough to the pot to just do it on its own. Let's hope. But as with the other one I can put some moss here too, so it will be fine. So that's it. So if you uh, cut uh, Miltonia Sunset and would like to do a care club video, please let me know. And uh, hope to see you soon on another video. Howdy!